what's happening guys uh hi so it's a pickups video um i haven't done one of these for a while because to be fair i haven't really been picking things up which is a bit contradictory because obviously it's how you're doing a pickups video but i have not done one of these for a while in terms of i used to do them every week because i would have things every week and again i will reiterate that i don't buy for a video so and if i did then i wouldn't have missed as many as what i have so there we go i've bought some of this stuff is before christmas um it's actually beginning of december sort of time and some of it is during christmas ish time and then summer's uh up to recent as today but today's saturday i actually filmed this yesterday and i had a headache so when i watched it back i wasn't quite happy with it so there we go but anyway we'll uh, crack on because i have a few nice little items here first of which is gaming related which is always handy as i'm david tyler game center um we have magic land dizzy i have fantasy world dizzy and this is now my second game of which i cannot play because <laughs> uh, i don't have a commodore this is a show item it is two it was two pounds sorry from ebay with one pound postage that's the only reason why i bought it is because it was so cheap and it's one of the games that i really really loved uh, for the disney series so you know that disney's not for everybody but i think it's a nice little shelf piece I like the artwork as well so there's that this actually arrived yesterday and i did not realize that is what that is how somebody packaged this item so I'm covering my dress very savvily here. Um, but this is how somebody bloody packaged this item. And I'm not very happy about it. So I cut the top, but I'm going to get the rest open now. Can we, do I need to cut any more? Jeez, this is... Please insert tight jokes here in the comments below bloody hell i mean i get it but at the same time like it would have been the same price to just send it in like a bubble pack envelope which is kind of what i don't get Six and a half hours later. Anyway. Um, right, so we've got Dizzy Panic. This is another item. It was from the same seller. And again, I like the artwork. I had this. I had all the Dizzy games on like floppy disk and tape uh, back when I was about three, four, five, six years old. So we have another Dizzy game. And that was about the same price as well, to be fair. But uh, nonetheless, the packaging was absolutely awful. Anyway, the next thing is not gaming related. This is a VHS. And it is Rocky IV. Um, I have a very small list of VHSs that I have collected and am collecting. Like specific items that I absolutely loved as a kid and as a young adult. And, and the reason why I'm looking up there is because that's where they all are. So I actually bought this before Christmas and it basically cost me all in £5 with uh, postage. And I was happy to pay that, to be fair, because I haven't bought a VHS for quite a while. And like I say, I've only got about four more VHSs that I want to buy. And they're not even worth anything, it just means a lot to me. So Rocky Four is the only VHS in the Rocky series that I owned when I was younger. I don't know why that my mum only bought Rocky Four, but it is my favourite of the Rockies. And I'm not saying it's the best necessarily, but I enjoy it a lot and I've watched it many times. So, like I said in previous videos, I have to have the specific cover, etc. And there we go. So, Rocky IV, you can get one. Oh dear. Um, the other thing, I actually bought this today. It is a children's book and I bought it because of the artwork, basically. So, it caught my eye. I like to draw. Yeah. 
So uh, it cost me 75p that did. There's not really a lot to say about that. Just the same with this one to be fair. Shirley Hughes, I actually really, really like Shirley Hughes. I've always liked her. Again, because of the artwork and storytelling. Um, I'm not going to say that I sit down and read these or anything like that, but I appreciate them for what they are. So I've got about four or five books by Shirley Hughes. And this one cost me 75p. This was from Rainbows. And this was from British Heart Foundation. So the next one is gaming related. And I got this before Christmas. Uh, well before Christmas. But I wasn't about to do a pickups video for one thing. So I got Sonic 3 Manual finally. So I have now got a complete Sonic 3 box. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about Sonic 3 Manual. But it just seems so difficult to get. And when I say difficult to get, I mean for like a decent price. I will say that all in, I had to bid for this as well. And it took me like six or seven days just to wait for the bidding to end. All in all, it cost me basically just under £10 for this freaking manual. So it's one of the only games that I'd be willing to pay out <laughs> uh, that price for. But I've done it now. I clenched my teeth and I paid for this manual and the next thing this is kind of a recycled pickup but this bag was given to me by Eddie in one of my previous videos at Roller Core, Roller X Core because <laughs> Jordy, keep, <laughs> Jordy keeps saying it's a <laughs> Silent X uh, which to be fair he's probably right um, but I framed it so Eddie donated this to me because I don't know if it's in frame but my uh, Ryu Street Fighter 2 bag is up there I had that since the game first came out and Eddie very kindly donated this to me because he thought I could it would match up very nicely the red is just um, tissue paper red tissue paper that's all so yeah I think it looks really good I think it looks very nice in actual fact I don't have the Outbreak game which in a certain respect it's a bit sacrilege to have this framed um, so that means now I've got an excuse to buy that game I did not realise I've got it for Code Veronica but not this game so there we go the next thing arguably the best thing is this little mini pickup that I got so the story behind these three PS2 games that I have here is that long story short my friend Ben who did do YouTube videos but came off YouTube for quite a while um, I will be shouting him out again soon because apparently he's kind of had second thoughts and he may well be doing pickles videos again uh, other types of videos he's got a banging collection since he came off of YouTube as well in actual fact ironically enough so that would have been great viewing for the deals and stuff that he's got since and his collection he's got now but anyway we'll leave that to another video he basically said oh there's a um a ps2 an xbox pickup near you and it's in loughborough he doesn't live in loughborough and i was like okay well how much is it it was 80 pounds for 120 games ps2 i was like mm, where's the pictures though no pictures um i was like mm. so he says he's he's asked he's asked for like pictures and stuff i was like well do you know what i'll just go round because sometimes people just can't be asked to do pictures. So I went round and yeah, the guy was really nice. Um, he said, look, you know, I, d I don't really care, but I just want to get rid of them. And there were my stepdads. I mean, the guy that was selling them, he was at least mid fifties. He was early to mid fifties. And he knew, he knew enough about, you could tell when I was having a conversation with him, he knew enough, but then I said, look, you know, I'm not interested in the majority of these. And I was also, the ones that I do like, I've got already. Like, there was Manhunt, and there was, I think, a solitary GTA game there, and a couple of other bits and pieces, but I had them already. Um, there was a lot of war games, and, like, really generic, kind of, you know, like, Medal of Honor, like, early-type games, and, like, Brother in Arms and stuff like that, and I was like, mm. I says, well... I don't have this and I knew for a fact it wasn't really worth anything so I was like well how much and I thought if he says like some stupid price then I'm gonna just bail on it and I picked out the other two games as well and I said how much do you want for them and he kind of whispered to his wife and was like oh I heard him say a pound a game and he goes oh a pound a game I was like well that's fine uh, do you have any change when you got a £10 note and he came went out the way and came back and says oh I've only got a £5 note I'm afraid I was like okay 
Well, I thought, well, this game here is worth about a pound. And this game here is worth about a pound, two pound at a push. And I thought I had this in actual fact, and I didn't. I got the second one. Don't know why I thought I had this one, but I don't. Anyway, and then when I kept in mind about this game, it, this is complete. They're all complete, and they're all in pretty much immaculate condition as well. Uh, the discs, I've got no scratches whatsoever. It's got manual. And I just, I just thought, oh, it's got... I, I didn't check online, ironically enough, but I thought, I've never really seen this game, and I'll take the hit if it's worth... If it's worth up to three pound, I've not lost anything. So I spent five pound on Metal Gear Solid 3, 13, and Metal Gear Solid 3 Substance. And then I found out when I got home, because I messaged Ben telling him what I got, he said, do you realize how much Substance is worth? And he sent me a screenshot from CEX. So it's not worth hundreds of pounds or anything like that, but it's worth a lot more than five. So, I was very happy with that, to be fair, <laughs> obviously, and yeah, there we go. So, at the minute, I have other pickups on the way, and there was another video that I've got from a particular Christmas present, um, I was going to say for, for Christmas that I got, <laughs> obviously. So, there is a particular video that I'm doing a bit more in depth on a Christmas present that I got that is gaming related, so that will probably be my next week's video, in all fairness. Not, I'm not entirely sure whether to do it for a Wednesday video or a Friday video, but we'll see, we'll see how I feel. Um, but yeah, so there we go guys, so I hope you have a nice uh, weekend and take it easy.